Here's looking at the miracle we found Two feet off the ground, not even trying Another toast and join me if you please Love is like a breeze and this is flying You and I have found the makings of a dream We're the perfect team, the perfect lovers The joker's laughing cause he won the queen of hearts This is how it starts for perfect lovers Here's looking at you morning, noon and night I wish you love and light and sunny weather And if it's stormy, let our pleasure pull us through There's nothing we can't do if we're together Okay, Bobby, are you getting the main pole? Gene, is the main tent peg lined up in front? Huh? Jeff, do you have to practice this now? Tomorrow we're going to be in Yosemite, and then you can put the tent up. Oh, but I thought it would be fun, you know, we could all do it together. And then when the tent's up, we'll learn the constellations. Ah, Dad, constellations are gross. Yeah, Dad, really gross. The camp director said we could watch his TV. Can we, Dad, please? Hey, fellas, we don't have that much time together. Mom, please. <laughs> All right, good. Yeah. I want you back at 10 o'clock. You understand? 10 o'clock. We don't have that much time together, guys. They'll be gone in a couple of hours. You want to go in the cave? No. I'll show you my mosquito bites if you show me yours. You don't want to see my mosquito bites, eh? No. Excuse me, lady. Would you like to see my mosquito bites? Jeff, will you please stop it? Excuse me, just take a moment. Jeff, will you please stop it? Stop it? Okay. Somebody hold the door. That rattle still bothers me. We will stop again at the next service station. You never told me it was going to be this hot. Gene, it's summer. Summers are hot. I can't help that. That's the way they're made. That's so you can tell them apart from the winter. Jeff, do me a favor, huh? Don't be sarcastic. This trip to Yosemite was your idea, remember? So that we could all be together again. Well, here we are. How do you like it?
have the results of your second biopsy. I guess this is the point where I say give it to me straight, huh, Doc? The second specialist concurs even after completely new tests. Your first tests were far more serious than I had indicated. I had hoped the second results would be different. They weren't. You have a particularly virulent form of cancer called melanoma. What's happened is a shower of small cancers have developed along your left chest wall and back. There are more than 80 lesions. Well, they're completely inoperable. I recommend immunotherapy. That's a relatively new form of treatment which seeks to stimulate immunity so that the body can reject the tumor and prevent further spread of the cancer. You are wondering if this will save you. It will not. The cancer has spread too far for us to do anything but try to arrest that growth and give you more time. Mr. Griffin, you will probably live about another year, but not more than two. When the pain begins, there are treatments that will help a little. One. Let's see if we can beat the old man. Come on, yeah, we're playing one on one. But he started the game. All right. Now you know that you're supposed to call for it. Well, I was just in the area. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have? Is there? Uh... I have company. Yes, I do. How are the boys? He just saw them on Saturday. Jeff, if there is nothing wrong... No, there is nothing wrong, Jean. It was just that I was here and, uh... Mm -hmm. There is something wrong. What? This is wrong. I want us to be together. Jean. Just before we separated, do you remember what you wanted us to do? We were all going to go away on a camping trip. We wanted to go to Yosemite. Do you remember how the kids were looking forward to it? Gene, let's do it. Come on. It's going to give us a great chance. We'll be together, we can talk. Jeff. Jeff, things are not the same now. They're just different. Jeff, can we talk? Listen, it's going to do us a whole lot of good. It's a change of scenery. Fresh air. You know you hate fresh air. <laughs> I want us to be together. Now. Um, what, what, what's the matter? You're acting very weird. When you think about it, it's going to be great for the boys. They'll have a ball and we can love it too. Uh, I, um, all right, all right. But right now I have to go and wait. I'll call you tomorrow, okay? together. Your mother and me. And you.
but you're wrong. Miss Phoenix. You're wrong. I'm very sorry, but we're positive. It's out of the question. You got your files confused. The lab fouled up. I really don't know. Miss Phoenix, I would never tell a patient something like this unless the records had been checked and double-checked and rechecked again. You know, I... I loved this guy for five years and he got married a month ago. I think it's the farthest away I could get from Manhattan was Seattle. Seattle, for God's sake. It rains here every day. I can't get a job. If it comes to you, you make all these damn tests. All these stupid tests! And then you keep me waiting in your tacky waiting room with those locked wallpaper and your asinine back issues of National Geographic and Red Book and you finally drag me in here and you tell me I'll be dead in a year? You sanctimonious little jerk! You think you're the only doctor in the world? You couldn't have made some mistake? I'm sorry, no. You can't come up with any treatments that would buy me any real time. No. You can't save my life. No. Can you validate my parking ticket? You little brother, <laughs> George. How'd you find me? Through Dr. Feinberg. How you doing? Well, if you spoke to Dr. Feinberg, you know how I'm doing. Have you called Jean lately? I think she's pretty worried about you. I just hear a lot of screaming about being left on a highway. <laughs> no, that was, what was that? That was five months ago. Yeah, well, what do I say? That I'm going to be all right and she shouldn't worry? I'm not going to be all right. There's really nothing that I can say to anybody anymore. That's why I left. Other boys. Oh, you know, kids. They're stronger than we are. There's enough of my savings in that stock, isn't there? Oh, yeah. That reminds me. <clears throat> That's, uh, $1,500. Go ahead, take it. There's more if you need it. No, no Gene needs this. I'll manage it. That's not your money. That's my money. I saved that. Now, let, uh, take it. Fly to Paris for breakfast. <laughs> Go on, take it. I don't care what you do with it. So, uh, what have you been doing with yourself lately? Well, I decided that Los Angeles was a good place to come to to finally get things done. I've been body surfing. I took a night course in writing the novel. That didn't work out. Oh. I finally went to a massage parlor. I always wanted to do that. Yeah. And? The worst. <laughs> I mean the bottom. 
problem is there's only one thing that I have any real interest in. And they even have a course in it. Most of you are graduate students in psychology. Some of you are in mortuary science. And a few of you enrolled because your relatives near death and you personally are trying to readjust. I am here because I'm old and I am dying. We are all dying. A little bit every day. And none of us are ready. I'm glad you're in the class. Isn't that sad? I must be my father. I must have that. There's something about death that makes our culture what... Is this Punic Wars 1 and 2? No, Psychology 458. Death and dying, man. I suspect uh, it makes us uncomfortable to have something that Yankee ingenuity can't fix. But death is a part of life, and all of its emotions should be faced openly. Now, in studying the psychology of death and dying, we'll discuss grief, fear, tension, and anger. Because when a friend or a loved one dies, sadness is not all that we feel. We also feel anger at the one who dies for abandoning us. Also, dying... <laughs> Excuse me, sir, I'm just changing my seat. Also, dying people are uncomfortable reminders of our own mortality. You have to be more serious, Miss. You cannot be for example, the Punic Wars. Really? A lot of people died during the Punic Wars, both one and two. Lots of Punics. And psychologically, we should face it completely and honestly. Whoever you are, wherever you came from, Go I just on. want to tell you I'm delighted you're in the people class. Know they are dying. Everybody they else here is a zombie. But think that they can't show Why don't they laugh? But all the emotions of death must be dealt with. Keep glaring at me. In the same way, no two people face life exactly alike. <coughs> so no two people I'm a little older than the rest of the people in the class, so I have to be more serious. From here on in, I'm not going to make any Another jokes. Another important area we shall study concerns children... And death. We lie to children through euphemisms about three places. The bedroom, the bathroom, and the grave. Are you coming? Are you coming by? Yes, later. Phoenix. What? What do you think? Phoenix, that's my name. How do you know? I saw it. It's on your book. Oh, yeah? Pretty smooth move, Griffin. I paid attention during roll call. Are you a student here? No, I'm the night janitor. No, what I mean is, um, do you go to classes here full time? No, I took this one course. I thought it'd be interesting, and it wasn't. What are you doing here? Well, nothing. I just, uh, well, I took a course in writing the novel. Oh, you're a writer. No, not exactly. I, uh, I used to sell life insurance. And now you're going to be a writer. No. Well, now I'm hungry. And I know a terrific place for tacos. I do, too. Wait a minute. Griffin, your beguiling charm and your terrific tacos aren't going to get you into my evening or my life or anywhere else. Look. Don't flatter yourself. Right now, my life is a little complicated. So is mine. Fine. We understand one another. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you where and when we're going to have dinner. You and I. If you don't show up, that's all right. I don't care. Wednesday night.
something that you have secretly always wanted to do and you never had the nerve to do it. In fact, we might just do a lot of things like that. Like what? Like sneak into a movie through the exit doors. <laughs> I've got money to buy a ticket. So do I. Do I look all right? I think you'll go unnoticed. That's too bad because I wanted to make a good impression. Did you brush your teeth? I hope there's a cartoon. We'll find out. What if we get caught here? In this state, it's the chair. Shh. All right, now, look, I'm going to open the door, and you go in. Now, if you get caught, then I run away. Go ahead. Excuse me, sir, but would you both come with me to the manager's office? Oh. Well, I certainly don't see why not. Right this way, please. Come along, darling. Tell me, is it far? There are other people in the theater. I'm sorry. It's just that, uh, you see, she's been drinking and, uh... Yeah. Griffin, do you think he'd mind if we stopped for my milk duds? Turn around and go out the exit door. You're crazy. Uh, she forgot her purse. Oh, she's just going to take a second. She'll be right with you. Hey! hey! I don't know. Oops. Are you going away? No. No? Okay. Going south? Miami? We got a car. We've got two cars. East. Chicago? Watching the sunrise is a beautiful idea, Griffin, but I'm telling you, it usually comes up in the east. Well, you never know. I've had more fun with you tonight than I've had in months. I had more fun with me tonight than I had in months, too. You know, if I didn't think I'd start liking you so much, I'd probably see you again. 
I beg your pardon? Well, I don't know a damn thing about you. But you're crazy enough that I... I can't get involved with anyone right now. I don't know who said anything about getting involved. That's true. flattering myself. I shouldn't have assumed that you'd... I'm just babbling. Do you ever not want a new day to start? Why do you think we're facing in this direction? Take care of yourself, and uh, thanks for the night. You're quite a guy. Hey. Don't you want your coffee? Jody, hi. It's Sarah. Yeah. Well, how in the world are you? Yeah. Oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh, no. three years. It can't be. Well, what's been happening to you? You're moving to Boston. Oh, you can't look. I just got here to L.A. Yeah. Oh. Well, can I come over? I haven't even seen the baby, and I... Oh, I don't care. I've seen cardboard boxes before. Look, I can help you, Jody, and I, I've got your address here, and I'll... Well, I don't care. Look, let me come over. Yeah, now. Yeah, I'd really like to see you, Jody. Yeah. Come on, Jody, please. Oh, he's just beautiful. Yeah, he's okay. <laughs> Mommy, Jennifer's sitting in the dirt. Tommy's going through that difficult stage for boys, you know, between the ages of three and 38. Seriously, you know, you remember when we were in school and we used to talk about whether to have a family right away or not? I love this gang. But sometimes I really envy you your freedom. You were smart to wait. Jennifer!
information is impossible at this point. You know that, don't you? Just give me something for pain. About the only other thing I can do for you since you refuse hospitalization is to lend you some books that might help. each other anything about the other person? Yes. I was just about to ask you about that. You haven't even asked me what my first name is. How come? I don't know. You like my apartment? I'm having a taste for we done. Wall and early salvation. Yeah, Griffin, I don't want to make small talk about your apartment. I don't know what I want. I'm going home. You're not even going to say thank you and you had a nice time? Good night, Griffin. Whoever you are.
okay. Lord, it's been a while. Well, it's like this. I'm 37 years old. And I have a few questions. to me in terms of blood count. Talk to me about time. You have less left than we thought. Story. I'm home now. Come on over. Is everything all right? Yeah, come on over. Hey, Phoenix. Yeah? This is the best note anyone ever left me. Griffin? Griffin, something's come up. I don't think I should see you. What are you talking about? Come on over. Tell me about it here. No, I don't, I don't think I should. Come on, we'll talk about it. No. Hey. What is this on-again, off-again relationship of ours? Phoenix, you're the one that left the note. Now get over here and let's drink wine or make love or something, but let's get on with it. Are you crying or something? No, I've got a, a cold. Griffin, I, I shouldn't have left you that note. Phoenix. I just don't think I should see you. Griffin, the thing is, I... Never mind, Griffin. Well, we're on again. 
again. Open the door. What's that? Dinner. So what was the outcome? So he dumped me. You know, the way they advise in those men's magazines in uh, fancy restaurants so they won't be seen. When I was finished, there were little pieces of scene all over the walls and the ceiling. So that's when you came to L.A.? No. That's when I went to Seattle. You see, I thought that, uh... New York was dirty and Seattle sounded clean, but I was confused that clean was wet. And things didn't go very well there, and then I came here. Wow. That's the story of my life, and it wasn't very interesting. I got a wife and two kids in Albuquerque that have been separated for a while. Is that where you went? Yes. Oh, I think. My wife and I had quite a scene. And I had to tell my two boys something that I should have told them a long time ago. Facts of life? Yeah, one of them. I can't figure you out, Griffin. What do you do? Do you just lie around here? Well, you don't work for a living either. I got a brother who's a soft touch. What's your excuse? I got no money saved. I got a lot of credit cards that I live off of, and unless I really overdo it, it can take about a year for one of those companies to really nail you. Yeah, but what happens at the end of the year? I worry about that then. Griffin, let's do something. You know? Like a date. A date? down. You see little bugs crawling around in it. Your cereal box is full of them, Griffin. Any good? You see, actually, the problem that you have when you're eating insects and cereal is once you finish with the bugs, then all you have left is the cereal. you've always wanted to do. I mean, like, you know, when you were a kid, when you were 14, you didn't know any better. When I was 14, I used to daydream in chemistry class about being invisible. 
and sneaking into the girls' locker room. Come on, Freeman. Now, the other thing I always wanted to do, and I haven't thought about this in a long time, I always wanted to hop on a freight train just to see where it would take me. Yeah? Why don't you? I'm gonna feel silly if this train doesn't come along, I'm telling you. I'm gonna feel sillier if it does. You think we missed it? Did I make us late? The guy at the station said 340. What took you so long, anyway? I couldn't figure out what to wear. What? I couldn't! I changed clothes three times. I never hopped a freight before. Look, it looks fine. And you're playing some sick game! Next time you pull 
Please, I don't know what you're talking about. Go find yourself some other loser! Now wait! I don't know what you're doing! You know I'm dying! You leave me alone, okay? You leave me alone. Sarah. I'm the one that's dying. No, no, it's, uh, it's disconnected because I'm not living there anymore. It's a long story. Yeah. All right, Mother, I, uh, I'm living with a man that I, I care very much about. Yes. Yeah. Mother.
feel like it's bad for my health. We just stop it now. It doesn't matter. Well, it does so matter. And you know it. For us, maybe that's the only thing that does matter. I went to a shrink. What did you tell me? It took this monkey a half hour to get over the novelty of the situation. He finally allowed us how I probably can't achieve such a life-affirming act because I am always subconsciously aware that we're both full of death. How much did it cost you to win that? Thirty-five dollars. You turn in a minute, mister. Okay? Let's not talk about this a lot, but I want you to promise me that if, if I go first, I don't want you coming to the hospital or to the funeral or to my grave, okay? You go first. I'm the one that's about to go off the cliff. All right, would you just, let me finish here. I just want to do this one time, okay? Whenever I think it's time, I'm just going to disappear. I'm going to go off somewhere to a hospital, and that's that. Don't look for me or anything. Go back to your family. Let me do this the way I want to. Hey, listen, you moron. I'm the one that's about to fall off this cliff. In five minutes, I'm going to be dead, and you're standing there giving me instructions. Okay, okay. Just want you to understand, and I want you to do what I say to you, okay? You're not scared, are you? Well, yes, I am a little scared. As long as I'm here, I might as well try it. The next thing you're going to tell me the importance of living life to its fullest. All right. If you still want to, you're next. Right. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready for a beer and a hamburger. Thank you very much. Did you tell the boys in the band to start? <laughs> Waiter! What do you have to do to get a glass of water here? <laughs> this place is, uh, still near the water. You know, my dear. Thank you. You approve the campaign? Mm -hmm. You want my answer? <laughs> yes. No, it's lovely. No, it's lovely. <laughs> it's lovely. Uh -huh. Yes, to the Punic Wars. <laughs> Listen, I want to buy you a present. You mean besides the champagne for dinner? Yeah. Why? Because you gave me a train. Now, what is it that you always used to want? <laughs> I don't know. What? Come on. A single perfect Venus flytrap. Come on. I don't know. <laughs> Tell me. There was one thing I wanted. That was stupid. You're not going to tell me. <laughs> All right. Well, when I was in high school... Yes? I was always on the fringe of being, you know, in the popular crowd, but I never made it. I, I tried out for cheerleader every year. I, ma I never made it. I ran for student council representative. Never made it. Right. My whole life I wanted to be in the school play, the lead. But I always ended up painting the scenery. But there was one thing. It killed me that I didn't get to do it. 
sleepwalking, do you? Have we got money for bail? We have money for one of us. You're gonna have a long night ahead of you. Do you think they'll take a credit card? We surrender! All right, you two. Get over here. Uh, yes, sir. And make it fast. Uh, yes, sir. We have to go over here. Let's go to the barbed wire. What were you doing up there anyway? I've been capturing our horses, officer. You've been drinking, have you? Why not, sir? Ah! Oh, stay there, cops! Anybody else up there, you get on down here. And I mean now. <laughs> Thank you. 
say something on this occasion, but to have friends and family such as you speaks for itself. You are the good my life has been. You and my Anna. Uh. banks and by yon bonnie braes where the sun shines bright on Loch Lomond where me and my true love will ever want to gay on the bonnie bonnie banks of Loch Lomond you'll take the high road 
and I'll take the low road, and I'll be in Scotland a ye. But me and my true love will never meet again on the bonny, bonny banks of Loch Lomond. Was that for anything special? Yeah, you. Phoenix, have I ever mentioned to you how much I like you? I don't mean love you. You already know that. But I like you a lot, too. for you. Griffin, it's time for you to go spend your time with your family. Tell your kids to catch their freight trains. I've been in a lot of pain but haven't wanted you to know. Remember what you promised about not looking for me. God, I love you.
perfect team, the perfect lover. The Joker's laughing because he won the Queen of Hearts. This is how it starts for perfect lovers. Here's looking at you morning, noon, and night. I wish you love and light, sunny weather. And if it's stormy, let our pleasure pull us through. There's nothing we can't do. We're together.